Mobius entered, not long ago. You know his pale face and the ironic smile with which he awakens expectations. I sat with Floristan at the piano forte. Floristan is, as you know, one of those rare musical minds that foresee, as it were coming, novel or extraordinary things. But he encountered a surprise today. With the words, off with your hats, gentlemen, a genius. Eusebius laid down a piece of music. We were not allowed to see the title page. I turned over the leaves vacantly. The veiled enjoyment of music that one does not hear has something magical in it. And besides this, it seems to me that every composer presents a different character of note forms to the eye. Beethoven looks very different from Mozart on paper. The difference resembles that between Jean Paul and Goethe's prose. But here, it seemed as if strange eyes were glancing up at me. Flower's eyes, basilisk eyes, peacock's eyes, maiden's eyes. In many places, it looked yet brighter. I thought I saw Mozart's La Cidarem La Mano wound through a hundred chords. Laparello seemed to wink at me, and Don Juan hurried past in his white mantle. Now play it, said Floristan. Eusebius consented, and the recess of a window we listened. Eusebius played as though he were inspired, and led forward countless forms filled with the liveliest, warmest life. It seemed that the inspiration of the moment gave to his fingers a power beyond the ordinary measure of their cunning. It is true that Floristan's whole applause was expressed in nothing more than a happy smile. And the remark that the variations might have been written by Beethoven or Franz Schubert had either of these been a pianoforte virtuoso. But how surprised he was when turning to the title page he read, La ci darem la mano, perie pour le pianoforte par Frédéric Chopin, oeuvre de. And with what astonishment we both cried out, an opus two, how our faces glow as we wonder, exclaiming, that is something reasonable once more. Chopin, I have never heard of the name. Who can he be? In any case, a genius. Robert Schumann, Allgemeine. Musicalische Zeit. Evening belongs to Chopin. Crimson silks and sparkling wines, trails of smoke from balconies, stiff, rustling fabrics of tailored suits, perfume, chocolate truffles.
shoes, rolled in waxed paper coins, shiny as diamonds, as pearls, and the music. Notes one breathes in, holds fully, so it might never be forgotten. Sound of richness, of ruby, of sapphire, elegant nod to all refined things, to the ivory on a piano key, thrown from a window into a golden glitter of leaves by Russian soldiers. Ruby and Sapphire by Carrie Buckley.